I'm going to give you a quick review of what kind of school supplies they ask for nowadays. This is my daughter's. She's going into pre-K, four-year-old program. I don't have the list to show you because as I mark, as I packed everything, I marked it off. So basically you have to supply everything for their um, academics and crafts and arts and crafts and cleaning for the school. And then I guess since COVID, they even asked for more stuff. So they want a all-purpose cleaner. Then they give examples like Lysol, no Clorox, blah, blah, blah. Two boxes of tissues. Two packages of baby wipes. A clear plastic shoe box. Hand sanitizer with a pump. How many of those did they ask for? Two. 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 Mm -hmm. Two clean and white. Um, sandwich Ziploc bags and well, these are for Issa. Oh, those for Issa, okay. I think I think Ife was just a sandwich um, Ziploc bags and the white paper plates are no coated. I, I kind of think those are for maybe for arts yeah, and crafts. Yeah, these are arts and crafts. Yeah. They do like a lion face and a snowman and stuff like that. And they want three rolls of paper towels, but they come in a pack of four. So that's just um, basically cleaning up the classroom. I mean, when I was in elementary school, didn't we just have to take a box of tissues and a few pencils and a notebook and a folder and a binder and a backpack? We didn't have to Maybe pack some crayons stuff. for kindergarten. Yeah, crayons. I don't remember ever going to school with this much stuff. I don't remember our teachers ever having to disinfect or. bag, that's what the problem. Where's Efe's bag? In my trunk. Oh, okay. I keep saying this. So that's this is, Issa's. This is just some extra stuff because I bought so much, I didn't have the list with me. Oh, okay. Okay, pause it and I'll go get Efe's bag. Okay. That bag you had, that's just extra stuff. I always buy extra because after Christmas break, they ask you to bring more stuff again. <laughs> so it's good to have a little extra on hand. So for her, she needed one um, hard plastic folder, a family picture to put on the wall. Aww. <laughs> um, one pack of eight. So they said two packs of markers. So we, I have bought the um, fat one and the skinny one. So we just threw one of each in there. Okay. They actually requested three packs of pencils. But I don't know if they're talking about 12 pack or 24 packs. So I just threw one 24 pack in there. They'll let me know if they need more. Um, Two Elmer's glue. They requested three packs of 24 crayons. I just think that's too much. Yeah. Like I said, I have extra. If they need them, I'll send them. So for now, oh, and they want the large one. So I have one large one, and they're very hard to find, and one regular one. Okay. But they asked for three 24? Three twenty-four packs. One. Oh no, three glues. Okay. One antibacterial soap. And six glue sticks. Okay. They might have put on there more. I know um, a schoolmate of Issa's has a, a brother going into kindergarten. And they had on there 18 glue sticks. Well, see, they look, keep forgetting to leave the lids off of them. They probably dry out. You can always bring more. Issa will tell me. They'll send a notice home around Christmas and say,
say, um, you know, go through your children's stuff, and if they need more stuff, send it, mm -hmm. or they'll give you a list of specific stuff to send. So, so for EFA, they didn't require the composition notebook? No. ESA had to have five composition notebooks, uh, three or four folders, plus not as much of this stuff, but he needed, I think, one of the wipes, one hand sanitizer, one soap, some kind of crazy yeah. amount of pencils he had to sharpen. They want all the pencils sharpened. Then he you needed the storage bags. They specified the baby wipes. Gallon, yeah. The, um, yes, I picked up a few things that she needed, last minute things last night. I'm surprised they didn't specify for the hand soap for it to be pumped. They did. Oh, they did? <laughs> I just, I buy them in bulk, so I have them. And then they asked for these pencil cases too, right, for Issa? Issa needed a pencil case, um, crayons, markers. They didn't ask for highlighters, which I was surprised. They asked for four packs of sticky notes. And the index cards that I bought last card. night. Yeah. And he's going into third grade, right? Yeah. Oh, well, this then, is what? Uh, at least a hundred dollars or more. Yeah. And then they want you to bring it in on a specific day at a specific time before school starts. So if you work 9 to 5, how are you going to come on a Wednesday between 9 and 11 a.m. to drop it off? Usually, you know, when I go to pick Ife up for you, there are a lot of grandparents there because both parents are working and the grandparents are having to to help like I do with my grandkids. And a lot of my subscribers do the same. I should be in the area tomorrow to drop it off. But they said a certain Wednesday time. Wednesday between 9 and 11. But when I went down there the other day, they said, um, just bring it any time. Okay. But it's good they're going back to school and they don't have to wear a mask and all of that. Yeah, thank God. They don't have to be um, six feet apart. I was just a mess. Mm hmm have you done Efe's back to her school clothes yet? No. <laughs> I was looking at all of her little summer dresses in her closet. She could probably just wear like a little white long sleeve under, like t-shirt or something underneath those little summer dresses or would that look tacky? She'll get some new clothes but I don't know um, what size she's going to be. Because right now she's a six and well, the, coming into the summer, when, the last time she wore long sleeves and long pants, she was a six. And she's going so to I be... I don't know if a six is still going to fit her. Mm -hmm. So I'm just waiting until the weather breaks and I start putting on her old clothes and see how they fit. Then I'll order some children's places pretty good. Mm -hmm. And they run a little bigger, so she might be a six in children's place. Do you want to show the clothes that you bought for Issa? No. Okay. Okay, well, thank you for showing all of this. I know my subscribers are curious to know. I know I was curious to see. I didn't even look at the list until a couple of weeks ago. They send it out as soon as, soon as school ends. And between her list and his list, it was just depressing. I couldn't even look at it. Mm -hmm. So I just started picking up stuff here and there, and then finally I went through the whole list and made a list. Well, I went to two different stores last night looking for, for the Play-Doh and the... Um, oh, yeah. They want two for Ife, two um, tubs of Play-Doh, mm -hmm. an online, a two-pound tub, and a Play-Doh, not, you know, the off-brand. On Amazon, it's $20 a tub. <laughs> and then the water, watercolor... Crayola watercolor paints. Mm -hmm. Those I'll be able to find, but I haven't made it back to I them. went to two stores last night and couldn't find them, but I'll go. Usually an art supply store will have them. Maybe Joann's or Michael's, a place like that. Well, we have okay. some time. They don't, they don't need it right now. Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate it.
Bye, guys. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you.